Gonna get something on the record right now. Over the last three years or so, me and Mayor Stump here have made little bets back and forth on different things. Five dollars is the maximum. And I have not won one yet. Until today. Army beat Navy, which we knew that was going to happen. Give me my money. There's some of your money back. Give me my money. <laughs> Anybody that bets against the Army needs to be whooped. I still caught the biggest bluegill this year. Dog, oh, they ain't caught no big bluegill. Don't listen to him. All right, got another finished knife I want to show y'all. You ready? There is a Blackfoot high polish zebra wood handle. Now this one is for my buddy Stump. And I've been working on it for a while. He's been aggravating me wanting it to get done. So it's done. Very, very, very sharp. Now this is the same knife that uh, if you saw the, the last 10 piece build or 12 piece build, whatever it wound up being, this is the same knife I use for steak knives. Now imagine they set of steak knives with that zebra wood handle. Would that be cool or what? Okay, and he wanted a sheath with the big, big foot on the front. Little big foot on the back. Now I've just finished this up. Just like that. How cool is that? Thought I'd show it to you. Anybody interested in something like this? I can make more. I have to order more steel though, because that's a uh, three thirty second smaller steel. All right. Before I go in for today, let's get these electric anchors finished up. mounted up the uh, the front plate got that all back together as I took my power from up there I don't remember how much I videoed on this I had almost 200 video clips on my camera this morning and uh, I had to get rid of them I just I can't look through all that stuff I just don't have time now the shackle that came with it I put a piece of heat shrink tube on it to keep it from clanging so bad. Put that like that. It threads in there, and this piece came with it. So, like I said, I'll put it right in there. <laughs> if it'll go, y'all apologize for being. Tired. I am very, very tired. I've been very busy in the shop for the last few days. And this morning. So once I get this done, I'm going in. This is Saturday. I'm actually going to take Sunday off like I normally used to do. All right, there's that. Right, let's move this up here. We're going to let it hang off here. Now this is the 15 pound anchor. I'm putting the big one up for it. Let me see. Let's move the camera this way. Let's 
come up with it. Oh, I gotta put that back down. Just had it out of the way. All right, there we go. Stored position. Down. Up. Auto deploy. That's where it goes by itself and stops when it gets ready. Now in that position, if it moves any in the water, it will self-adjust. Pretty cool, huh? There we go. Now, I've got a wire at the back, which is much, much simpler than this. Now, the switches that go in between up at the console, I'm not going to put those in right now. I don't know. Uh, I don't know exactly where I want them at. And I don't have to unwire everything. Just plug them in and put them. So we'll, we'll do that later. I've got so much going on right now that um, we're just going to go with them like this. All right, let's go to the back. All right, back here on the back, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Got some wire wrap here. And I've got the wire fed in through that port right there. And I'm just going to get it arranged in there. And I'll tuck this up under here. And uh, maybe secure it with some hot glue. Or something just to keep it from flopping around out here. And all I got to do to hook this up is take the, uh, because the circuit breaker's on here and the ground wire's there. Let's hook it to the battery. And then I'll tie up the loose ends in there, tie wrap it. And I'm still trying to beat this weather. I see it. See the clouds, it's coming. I don't beat it, we'll just finish it up tomorrow. No big deal. Anyway, it's a little bit tedious, but that's what I'm doing now. All right, y'all. Back anchor is wired up. And there we go. Now the mountain bracket, there's one screw that I cannot get in there. But my fingers hurt so bad that it can wait. Other than that, got to retie this with a zip tie and we'll do that later. We got the wire protector in there, got it pinned down a little bit with some hot glue so it won't flop around. Going down the road, the wind won't get a hold of it. And I will tie up the inside bars down in there tomorrow. But we're down. There we go. Now I have electric anchors. Very cool. <laughs> and I'll put a piece of that shrink wrap stuff on here later. 
I just ain't got the strength right now. So there we go. That's a little short, sort of, all over the board video for today. I've got to get all my stuff picked up and put away because the weather is coming. And I don't want to get caught in that. Time to go in. Thank y'all for watching. Thank you for your support. Hit a thumbs up if you don't mind. And I'll see y'all next time. Alright, first thing. Thoughts and prayers to all my friends up through the Tennessee area. Uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, Alabama. Where those, I think even the Mississippi, where those tornadoes went through last night. It's a bad time of year for that to happen. Any time's bad, but especially this time of the year. I know, been there and done that. I mentioned it before, but new viewers, in 1996, we were hit, direct hit, tornado, the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, well, not the day after Thanksgiving, November 30th, 1996. And, uh, the old house that we built is where the house is today. But anyway, I know how it is. It's a very bad deal. It's hard to recover if you ever do recover. But uh, keep the faith and you'll be okay. Now, this morning it was 75 degrees out here. I came out, did a little bit of work in the shop. This is Sunday morning, by the way. I cleaned up the boat. I vacuumed it. I scrubbed out some stains in the carpet that have been there for way too long. I've just been too lazy to do it. If y'all remember the video I did that my big brother Larry sent me this cover uh, for my boat. And it fits like a glove. Once I got it cleaned out, scrubbed, all of that kind of stuff, uh, put the cover on it. Because leaves blow in here, dust and dirt gets on it. It's a bunch of little birds around, little sparrows, some little things about that big. They get up there and poop in it. So I'm going to keep it covered, even under the shelter. Now, I don't have it strapped down, but that's good enough for now. Looks pretty awesome. Motor cover, even. Let's see, and it's, it's misty raining now so and windy, so y'all excuse the wind noise. Now, the trouble Larry had with his, he took it to have it patched, was the trolling motor, the blade, wore a hole in it. And that's going to happen right here, too, unless I do this. That is a little scrap, come on camera, scrap of a pool noodle. And I've got a bungee cord on there to sort of hold it. I don't. I ain't gonna be able to do this, but maybe. Well, we'll see. What I'm gonna do? I'll put that on there like that. Even sitting here with the wind blowing, it'll. There we go. That'll work. That'll keep it from poking through, maybe. If that don't work, we'll do something else. All right, one more clip, and uh, I think I'll put that one at the beginning because I'm very proud of something that has happened. Never happens to me, but it did this time, so. <laughs> All right, boat is clean, cover is on. Knives are made. We'll be sitting out of here probably Tuesday morning. And we'll see what's coming up after that.